Let's practice some autofill in Excel 2013. Let's begin by typing in the numbers 1, 2, and here, let me just uh, make this uh, a bit bigger here, and in fact uh, I can uh, press Control X which is cut, and I can paste it somewhere else, Control V. So let's press uh, Control, let's try that again, 1, 2, Okay, so let's do autofill. Highlight the first two numbers by clicking and dragging, and then hover your mouse to the bottom right uh, corner until you see this black plus sign. And click and hold down the left mouse button and drag down. So say how you drag it pretty far down until we get uh, uh, 50 numbers. So you see the number 50 there. So you can see that we we can very quickly uh, number things, and later on we're going to learn this concept called mail merge. It'll be useful, say, when you want to print out 50,000 tickets all numbered. It it would be impossible, well, not impossible, but it would be extremely time-consuming to do things which go on and on and on and on. But for now, autofill is extremely powerful. So I can pretend these are ticket numbers and we have a bunch of numbers this way. Let's practice some more. Let's try typing the number 10, 20. So Excel is very smart. It figures out the pattern. All you have to do is highlight the first two, drag your mouse until you see the black plus sign in the bottom right corner, click and hold, and drag it out sideways. Notice how we right away immediately have the pattern 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So Excel is quite smart. So let me press Control A, which selects everything, and press Delete. So Control A, and then press Delete, and deletes everything. Now I wonder how much uh, money you would have if you bet one cent, and you kept on doubling it for every round in a golf game. So golf game. So round one, hole one, hole two. So let's autofill this all the way up to 18. So let's go to 18 holes. How much money would you have? Ah, betting a penny is nothing. You just double it on the second hole and double it again, double it again. Couldn't be that much, could it? We'll see. Small change, penny is nothing. So let's try one penny. Now here's the thing. We're doubling it every time. So this is not a regular autofill. This is called a growth fill. So if you for growth fills where the curve is exponential, you don't need to actually type in two values, you just need one value. You hover to the bottom right corner, get that black plus sign. For growth fills, you actually right click, right click, drag down, and let go, and go to series. Series. Let's choose growth, and the step value is how, how quickly it grows. So for example, if you want to double your money, you type in two. If you want to triple your money, type in three. And if you want to increase your money by, say, 5%, you type in 1.05. This could be useful for calculating uh, comp compound interest. So if it's 7%, it would be 1.07. It would be 13%, it would be 1.13. But for now, we're going to double our money. Click on OK. Notice how you, instead of left click auto filling, you right click to auto fill, then we did a growth fill. and you can see that we're talking about big money. You'd be betting a th over a thousand dollars on the 18th hole and that's not uh, exactly pocket change unless you're uh, a billionaire. So hopefully you have some insight about autofill and you could probably answer the same question, how much money would you have if you um, doubled your money for every square in a checkers board, an 8 by 8 64 square checkerboard and it's a quite a quite an interesting uh, ability to to uh, use autofill so congratulations you have some more insight about excel autofill